Good afternoon. I am Mrs. Lincoln, and my talk is on the fan. The hand fan. I had many, many fans, right, Mrs. Kathleen, to match all my dresses. Um, I'll give you a little bit, a brief history of the fan. I only have 15 minutes, so. <clears throat> the origin of the hand fans can be traced far back as 4,000 years ago in Egypt. The fan was seen as a sacred instrument. It was used in religious ceremonies. It was also seen as a symbol of power of royalty, even in the form of evidence by two elaborate fans found in King Tut's tomb. One of the fans had a golden handle and covered with ostrich feathers, while the other was ebony overlaid with gold and precious stones. Other ancient peoples, such as the Hebrews, Persians, Greeks, and Romans, also used hand fans in various forms, as mentioned in Greek and Rome texts, as well as the Bible. Early fans were reserved for royalty and nobility, and it was often used as a very expensive toys, and was regarded as a status symbol. Fans in America had a humbler beginnings. Shaker fans, which I gotta get over there. This is more of a shaker fan. Uh, were produced from woven straw or paper, which was far cry from the feather and gold ruby studded fans of Queen Elizabeth. Okay. Fans, the, the original purpose of the hand fans was to create a breeze, but they had many other uses. Hand fans were used for protection against rain, a tray to, for offering or receiving refreshments, for salutation signals, to punctuate sentences, and to hide bad teeth. <clears throat> European women would use the fans to hide their faces during mass, and from about 300 AD until about 1300, Fans were used to brush flies from sacred vessels in churches. Other popular uses of hand fans were as, the, as menus, theater programs, and dance programs serving a, a double purpose as fan and a dance card. And I have pictures of that, which I will show you later. The, these dance fans had a large hook that fastened over the lady's sashes and pencil attached to the handle. In fact, I'll look, show, look for it now. Let me find it. This, this is a, a dance fan. The one on top is folded. And what they would, the women would do is wear it on their sash or their belts, whatever, at the at the dances, and right here is the pencil. It would open up, and they can write down who they were dancing with. It's like a dance card. And here's one that's got the, the names on the the men they danced with. <clears throat> Throughout the history. The fan was often played more than one row at a time, like this. Paper fans, fans provided to be a unique, unique way to combine the fu functionality of a device made to keep you cool with a material that lent itself to be written on for notes and reminders, the same as the dance fan. Fold when we think of hand fans, we usually think of the folding hand fans. The fixed fans were used years before the folding fans. The folding fan is recognized as being invented in Japan or China. The both countries holding legends of its creation. China thought of it as being, reminded them of the wings of a bat. Japan used it for a mask to cover their faces. Regardless of how the folding fan originated, the device was taken to Europe in the 1500s by way trade routes and became an exotic and stylish 
symbol of wealth and class. The folding fan became very popular once they arrived in the West in the 17th century. The folding fan was made out of many different kinds of material. It all depended on what kind of material you could get. Um, a lot of them were in, a lot of, some of the material was ostrich feathers, peacock feathers, silk, uh, mother of pearl, Russell's lace, um, paper leaves, and acrylic, and they were hand painted too. And on the fan, this part is called the leaf. Um, I don't have one with a stick. There's some that has sticks on it. It's called the sticks. The ribs and, outs and the outside guard. This is the outside guard. And then the bottom, the pivot anchors, is known as the head. From the 16th century up to the 1800s, throughout the whole world, Europe, the dress of no fashionable lady appeared to have been complete without an addition of a fan. They always had a fan with them. So prominent, a part with this little modest machine played an intrigue, love, and scandal that has been aptly termed the women's skeptor. <clears throat> During the 19th century, a woman's free to communicate was severely limited due to the social conventions of the era. In contemporary times, it was, has become a popular belief that women developed a sec secret language using these fans. As for the secret language of the hand fan, many believe it may have been passed from women to women, even mother to daughter. So that's how they learn the, the language from their mothers for the purpose of communicating with each other in situations where conversation was not considered pro proper as well when the face with potential suitors in social situations. During the Victorian age, women were expected at all times to conduct themselves very discreetly in public. Any direct communications of feelings or emotion between men and women were considered particularly undesirable. This made it extremely difficult for a woman to make her wishes known regarding the acceptance of a particular suitor. <coughs> Ultimately, the language of the hand fan allowed for women to convey her desires and feelings to prospective suitors without betraying the strict code of social etiquette. Now, I have many pictures, if you want to see them later, of the different kinds of fans there were and how they were made like this is this here is what they call a fixed fan um, another type of fan was your concave fan here's your ostrich feather fans and they came in all different colors. Lace fan. Very hand painted fans. And others, if you would like to come up and see it later, you may. Um, here's a, a wedding fan. I'll give you a few of the languages. There's, there's tons of, of language for the fan for me to tell you about. But I don't have enough time for that. Plus, I don't have it all written down. But one I can say is if it's open in the left hand, come talk to me. This is mainly when the, when the lady wants to talk to the man. The man. Right hand, you are too willing. This is for the men. Closed and hanging in, in the hand, on the left hand, I'm engaged. Closed, hanging in the right hand. I want to be engaged. <laughs> Wide open means wait for me. Shut means 
do you love me? Open and shut means you, you are cruel. Snapping shut means I am jealous. Shut, held to my heart. To the heart is you want my love. You want more, I mean, I can give you more. Do I have time? What? Get lost? <laughs> Get rid of them. Ugly. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Yes? How did the men learn the code? Probably from their fathers. From their fathers. They're sisters. But you know, men use fans too. They had fans. But they didn't have fans like this, but they had fans to keep them cool. I'm not sure if during the Victoria time, but they used some kind of fan. Um, I'll give you some more if you would like to. Um, let's see. Um, shutting the fan very slowly. Please, um, very slowly. Please, I promise to marry you. Half open over the faces. We are being watched. <laughs> Shut on one eye. When may I be allowed to see you? Right eye. It's about a little right. <laughs> Gotta be serious. <laughs> touching, touching open fan while waving means I long to be near you. Trilling in the left hand, we are being watched. Trilling on the right hand, I love another. Drawing across the cheek, like this, means I love you. Across the eyes, I'm sorry. Um, a few more. Dr drawing through the hand means I hate you. Um, but that doesn't get used very often. Across the, <laughs> across the forehead, you have changed. Moving the hair from the forehead, don't forget me. Rest it on left cheek is no. On the right cheek is yes. Dropping it, I'm not gonna drop it. We'll be we'll be friends. Passing from hand to hand. I see that you watched another. Oh, let's see. Kiss me again. Kiss me? That's kiss me. And then this it. Half open to the fan to the lips means you can kiss me. Any other ones you would like to know? What happens if you were really hot? Like, what did you do if you were hot? Well, this means you're married. No, it's not hot. If you were actually just cool. sweating, what would you do to cool off? <laughs> I don't like to touch. There's a original purpose for the fan, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm just curious. When, when I'm in your church tomorrow, I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I <mean>, shut up. <laughs> hey, it's this. It's yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, this. I hear this a lot. Like, my wife does that. Um. Anybody else have a question? Want to know anything else? Oh, behind the head, with the little finger means goodbye. <laughs> little finger to Carol. Yeah, explain it to Carol. I thought you said little finger. Little toe. Yeah. Anybody else want to? No? I had that people.